Welcome one and all, whoever may be watching this, this will be part eight, I think, maybe part nine. I don't remember, I actually did just check. <laughs> I don't remember, it's a number in a series, it's less than ten and more than five, I can say that. <laughs> um, Alright, let's jump into this. We'll keep exploring Hogsmeade, I'm keen as a bean. Sometimes it seems all roads lead to Hogsmeade. Um, okay, no, okay, it's just taking me back to the start. I was like, did it not save anything that I did in the last video? That's a bit of a plot twist. Okay, uh, so we need potions and m magic neep, whatever that is. Oh, I think that's like the garden. Uh, so we need to go here. Let's do that and maybe have a bit of a wander. Let's not go there by the direct route. Which I think would be that way. Let's just go for a little walk. How is standing behind a pill? Oh cool, that's the joke shop. I was just like, why are there fireworks everywhere? Revelio. Okay, Zonko's joke shop. Frequently regular nope, frequented regularly by Hogwarts students and villagers alike, Zonko's is the place to buy pranks and jokes in Hogsmeade. Nice. Oh, oh, flying page. Yeah. I'm just owning this. I actually did realize when I was editing that I missed a page back when I was doing the... Oh, it's a cat. Back when I was doing the jewel, it kind of appeared for a hot second, but I was focused on peeves. And I missed it, so I'll have to go back at some point. I guess maybe next time I jewel. Okay, I know you want me to desperately go that way, but we're just gonna run up here. Oh, another page. Oh, many pages. No, just one. Oh, no, okay, it helps if I press the right button. It's kind of hard because my microphone is, like, super sensitive in some ways, so if I'm not talking directly into it, um, you will hear my voice, like, dramatically disappear. So it's kind of hard when I have to, like, look down at the keyboard to try to find an, uh, whatever I want to press. Anyways, that's my life stories. Oh, another cat! Yay! <laughs> Where's the dogs? I want to pat a dog, because patting my dog in real life is apparently not enough. Uh, what are you doing? I'm just trying to practice. I'm sure I'll have How do I do this? That's a nice burnt down house. Oh, and that's a page. Oh. I told you not to go down that path. Miss Peck from Rude and Peck said a customer lost a deeracle around here. I know we're not supposed to go down there. I just thought... You could have got us in a lot of trouble. I'm very sorry, Father. Only she said I might earn a reward. Uh, instead, I just wasted our time. Well, then, yeah. Oh, huh, finally, I'll have enough for that wind whisk. Stop trying to get oh, it. Well, not meant to be. Also, I may have knocked over a dustbin back there. Never mind, I'll fix it. Rebellion. Yeah, okay, locked door, which I still can't get into. Oop, page. Oop, bag to search. Yes. <laughs> Just getting all the stuff. Wow, this is a big area. Oop, another page. Yes, I just did a thing and I leveled up too. It's all just hip hop happening. 3%! Oh, look at me slowly discovering this world. Oh, we got a top hat. Prankster coat. Okay, one of 15. Nice, so we've got a bunch of glasses. We've got a top hat. Okay. Cool, 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 cool. 
still just sort of getting the hang of the whole system. Yes. Um, I might don the top hat. Oh, what else do I... Oh, right, all of these. Yep, cool. Cool, cool, cool. Um, oh no, I want a gear. Um, my head. Where's my top hat? Why is F not an option? Do I have to like put something on my head and then... I definitely don't want to wear that hat. Okay, there's such an odd system. Yes. Yes. It looks ridiculous, but I'm here for it. If only it was like a bit more of a green color to match my Slytherin uniform. Anyways, let's wear this for the moment. <laughs> it looks so ridiculous, but I love it. Let's go. Oh, okay. We can't jump down there. Oh, nice, there's a chest. Hello, chesty boo, I can't do anything with you. Let's go get some potions. Now that we've had a little wander around. I think I patted that cat already. I don't know. Revenia. Oh no, okay, there's a chest inside. Oh, and there's another box inside too. Excellent. Oh. Why, thank you. Ooh, what's this about? How amazing would it be to just be able to do menial tasks like that, honestly? Welcome to Jay Pippin's Pushins. Hi Jay Pippin. Don't mind me while I search your chest. I've just taken your glasses. I hope that's okay. Why can't I spin this globe? You, sir, have a non-spinning globe and I am not here for it. Pardon me, sir. Oh, thank goodness. When I heard the bell, I thought you were Miss Lawang. Not that she deigns to come here. Though, I don't believe I've seen your face here before, either. It's my first time in Hogsmeade, actually. Is it really? Well, Parry Pippin at your service. And this is J. Pippin's Potions. Potions for all ailments. <laughs> You'll have read it on the sign, of course, but Grandfather always made me say it in full. <laughs> How may I help you today? Professor Weasley sent me to collect some recipes. I'm new at Hogwarts. You're the student she sent the owl about. I set your things aside immediately. I suspected if you're anything like I was at your age, you'd want your potion supplies. Is it not the most fascinating art potion making? Rivals anything you can do with a wand, I've always said. Are potions really that versatile? They may not be as showy as spell work, but make no mistake, they are just as powerful. They can heal, destroy, protect. You'll discover all of this soon enough. As it's your first time in, I should mention that it's not just potion recipes I sell. I also offer ready-made drafts for all manner of uses. And I unveil new ones from time to time. Pop in when you can so you don't uh, miss out on anything. Hmm? But for now, let's get you those recipes, shall we? What can I do for you today? Okay, so it's kind of like when I bought the spellcraft stuff. So these will all be free. A wise decision. Feel free to take a look at the rest of my inventory. Or come back another time if you're in a rush today. Hey, look, I can buy some ingredients at least. Stench of death. I'm here for that. Pre-made potions. Do you want... I've got many glasses. You can have them all. <laughs> Oh look, that one actually gives me, um, what is it, plus nine to defense? Oh, oh, I need to have a look at some of these gloves. 
Okay. I hope to see you again. Farewell for now. Got to do the usual look around, just make sure there's nothing to steal or push over. Alright, so then next I guess we're going to the Herbarium. Which is not too far away. First, I want to have a look at... All of this stuff. Wait, hold on, it doesn't, so, it doesn't show me any of the stuff in here. How do I, how do I know what does what? <laughs> yeah, okay, look, it goes with the hat. I'm just, let's just roll with it, huh? <laughs> Right, okay, so I think it's something to do with the background, but I swear, like, wasn't it these gloves that gave us something? I'm confused. I'm just starting to look a bit ridiculous, but like, I'm here for it. Oh, wasn't there neckwear? This scarf. Crimson clockwork scarf. Yeah, let's do that. <laughs> I look so ridiculous, but I am here for this. This is a look. I love it. I'm never going to take myself seriously in a cutscene. Let's go. Again, I just wish I could make it all kind of match a bit better. Is there any pages flying around? Well, hello there. Oh, hello there. Please come in. Pardon me, sir. I'm here for the seeds Professor Weasley arranged for me to collect. Ah, oh, the Dittany for the new fifth year. <laughs> I take it that's you, then. Merlin's beard. Starting Hogwarts is a fifth year. You must be positively reeling from it all. Not at all. I'm choosing to see it all as one big adventure. Well, bravo. Not everyone has the temperament to take things as they come. Name's Timothy Teasdale, by the way. And this is my shop, the Magic Neep. I keep the cart out here because I like a good chat. Can't very well be in the thick of things if I'm in the way inside now, can I? I suppose not. In addition to seeds, I have plenty of plants. Grow everything myself. My speciality is potion ingredients. Even Pippin purchases from me. But what say we get you a packet of Dittany seeds? Let me guess. You're after something fresh. Do have a look around. Plenty of ingredients to pique your interest, I'd wager. Well, that's everything. Better go and find Sebastian. Yeah, these gloves. Why are they not showing up as anything in the actual inventory? So that's five offense, that's six offense. So I think they're the gloves that I'm wearing. I feel like I should just sell these for the, just because here. You have a good head for business, haven't you? Yeah, I do. I really do. Thank you. No one can say I don't keep a stack shelf. Revelio. This cut belongs to Timothy Teasdale, who runs the Magic Neat. He enjoys being in the thick of things and engaging with customers outside the shop. This would be like my dream to have a shop like this. Oh, a chicken. Can I pat the chicken? Can I kick the chicken? No, I can walk through the chicken. <laughs> Anything else around here aside from chicken and vegetables? 
And a rabbit! Can I... Oh, rabbit's running away from me. Oh, wow, you're going really fast. I just wanted to pat you or kick you. Either option. Does he have papers flying around? Oh. My older <laughs> yeah, I knew there'd be ra one around here somewhere. Okay, I should probably go meet Sebastian, but let's just have a little wonder. It's nothing quite like a cemetery. <laughs> oh, whoops, that's not why I wanted to press. Nothing quite like some grave robbing. Someone left that there for their uh, dead relatives, I guess. I've just come along and been like, yes, don't mind if I do. Oh man, we could keep exploring all day. Kind of one of those things where I don't necessarily want to explore too much in videos. So abandoned shop. The proprietor of this abandoned shop is said to have used a shrinking charm to aid in storing his inventory. However, a slight miscalculation ended up, for all intents and purposes, vanishing it. Oh, that's a bit awkward. Oh, and there's a chest inside. Oh, yes. Oh, a pinstriped scarf. Hold on. Oh. Hello there. Lumos. I have to go find some rocks and some trees. <laughs> what the mess? It's hard enough trying to find that archway. Rocks. Ooh, paper. Oh, rocks and trees? Is this not rocks and trees? Lumos. I guess not the right rocks and trees. <laughs> Far out. At least she'll tell me. If we ever happen to run past the random rocks and trees, she'll tell me. Let's just come up here. Oh, sheep! She Does it get any more cosy than Hogsmeade? Sheep! Oh, nice. There's something in there, too. Oh, wrong button. <laughs> I feel like that kind of sums up my life. Come on inside. Oh, watch yourself, though. Let's have you leave here alive. Lumos. Uh, why? What's around here? Okay, so that's a chimney. So that's obviously on the hill. What, what's around here for me not to come out alive? Don't mind me. Just gonna take your dark arts cloak. <laughs> I'm looking for a chimney. And some rocks and some trees. <laughs> Whatever. Might have to like dedicate a video or two just to try to find these things. I don't know. Let's go back to Sebastian. Revelio. Oh, nice. Yep. That's just what I ran past, I guess. Oh, hold on. Let's follow the map. <laughs> Hi, my dude. I did some exploring. Oh, hold on. Bear with me. Rebellion. 
Glag Rags Wizard Wear, founded in 1750 and with locations in Paris, London and Hogsmeade, Glad Rags offers a variety of wizarding garments and accessories. Mr. Augustus Hill and his associate Otto Dibley happily help all those who wander into the shop, enjoying in particular the challenge of the customer with less fashion sense than most. Bless their socks. Okay, mate, I'm here. I officially have all of my supplies. Excellent. Did you get what you needed for your sister? I did. So I suppose the world is our oyster now. Let's see what else we can get up to. Oh, there's a page behind you. No! Stop this cutscene business! Oh. Ah, oh, but wait, there's more! Jeez, that was a button I'm not used to pressing. I press Q first. Oh, shivers. Okay. Um... Are we weakening him at all? Keep at it! We'll wear him down eventually! Love you! Oh, got whacked in the face. Oh, what if we do like... I just Leviosa'd him. Oh, okay, sorry. Oh, yeah, Repair is not going to help us. <laughs> it's been a while since I played this kind of game. No, Stupefy won't work on him. Oh, Sebastian, what did you do? Oh, wow, is he like immune to spells? Thank you for jumping backwards now. You betcha. Do you, like, Sebastian, can you do something? I just invoked ancient magic. Goodness! A second troll! Did you two take on a fully grown troll? By yourselves? I suppose so. It's all a bit of a blur, to be honest. Merlin's beard! Are you all right? We are, and we were glad to help. I'd say help is a bit of an understatement. Nerve like that? The makings of an aura, if you ask me. If you are unharmed, perhaps the two of you wouldn't mind helping me put a few things back to where they were. Of course, officer. Singer. Officer Singer. And thank you, again. I love how patronizing she was at the very beginning there. Oh, hello. Uh, hello. Good I'll go and see what he wants. Chase, I regret meeting up with Sebastian. It's just brought me nothing but having to fight like trolls. One last thing for Officer Singer to worry about. Oh, okay, I have to get close to them? Reparo. Holy dooly. Lucky they didn't do more damage. Two more things. 
Oh, wow. Yeah, okay. <laughs> if I can repair this, why not? Uh, oh. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Something around here that needs to... Oh, yeah, these boxes need to be restacked, I guess. Yeah, <laughs> yeah I'm so good. 